afternoon, everyone. And before we begin, let's have a little fun. And anyone Put it on. tell me what the significance of these numbers are in no particular order. Now think about this. You don't have to think far. You don't have to look far beyond the walls of Iron Mountain. Brian. The year we're established? 1951, exactly. The year Iron Mountain was established. How about 140,000? Number of customers, two for two, how about three? Three million. Wow, that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> this is all part of CVI, which is not part of Toastmasters, but it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a way to create and grab the attention of your audience. So with that, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and future Toastmasters, I am very ebullient to be here today because I am living proof of the Toastmasters program. Let me ask you, would you like to gain more confidence? Would you like to present more effectively? Would you ultimately like to close more deals? That's why we're here. Today I want to share with you my personal Toastmasters journey, as well as some journeys of other Toastmasters. When I joined Toastmasters in 1997, I felt comfortable getting up in front of a crowd and speaking, but I knew I could improve. And I also wanted to improve my leadership skills. That's why I joined Toastmasters. I wasn't thinking about closing business or selling deals, but that's where you are today, so that should be your thought process, because Toastmasters will help you get there. So within my first month of joining the club, Man, there was a leadership opportunity. So what do you think I did? I jumped in. I served as Vice President of Public Relations, which is our marketing position within the group. And immediately, I jumped in, put a marketing campaign together, started putting flyers and bookmarkers together, contacted local media and newspapers to get the word out about our club. Within my first year, I completed two speeches, as well as served as Vice President of Public Relations. Now your goals, your strengths, your outcomes are going to be different than mine. And that's the beauty of Toastmasters. You can get into the program, excel through the program quickly, like Joe did. He earned his CTM, or first level designation, within a 12-month period of time. You can take your time. You can get involved in other leadership opportunities within the club and it's all based on your effort but it's also based on what you can do to help your fellow teammate excel through the different levels. My second full year I served as Vice President of Education. Now the Vice President of Education <coughs> position is probably the most, no it is the most demanding position on the executive board but I have to tell you it is one of the most rewarding because you get to see the growth and the self-confidence that people gain as they go through the program. So you are like the overall mentor of the club in helping facilitate everyone's progress. During that second year I completed two speeches <coughs> and my third year I had the privilege of serving as president of the club. You all remember Y2K not too long ago? I remember it well too because I served, I, I served as president that year and I worked for a software company at the time so it was top of mind for our company and our clients. But I also remember Y2K because it was an opportunity for me to serve our club as president and again in that leadership role watch the acceleration and the advancement and the growth of our membership. And I was e even lucky enough to speak at a club outside of my club in San Diego, California while I was on business, while I was away on business. So again, Toastmasters is a program that you can get as much out of it as you put into it. The more you put into it, the more you gain from it. And there are living testimonials in this room as others around the world that have gone through the Toastmasters program. Now I'd like to share with you a few reasons why other Toastmasters have joined. Two are from my club and one is a, a special Toastmaster. 
What I loved most about learning to speak at Toastmasters was noticing that I was shaking because I was so nervous during my first few speeches, but looking out at the audience to see people listening, smiling, and being genuinely supportive was worth it. That's Deanne Bryce, former president of Blue Belt Toastmasters. This next Toastmaster, the reason why he decided to join? Listen. I needed to MC an all-day seminar with a keynote speaker and eight breakout sessions. Introducing these pros was intimidating, especially after my last public speaking experience ended in disaster. I found Toastmasters on the internet, joined, and gave my icebreaker before the date of the seminar. Toastmasters gave me the confidence to provide professionally delivered intros to the audience for the keynote and breakout session speakers. I couldn't have done it without the confidence that the structure that Toastmasters gave me in my preparation. Best meeting theme, 2007 holiday meeting when we put Santa Claus on trial. That was actually a fun meeting. I prosecuted him, got good-naturedly booed by the audience upon my conclusion, but somehow managed to take home the best speaker of the evening award. Thoughts as a speaker. For me, speaking is performance art. Most people fear public speaking, as we heard earlier. Instead, I embrace it as a form to be creative and expressive in front of a supportive and knowledgeable audience. Who can't use that kind of energy that experience brings? Why he's still a member, and he joined in 2002. Toastmasters is like any skill. If you don't continually use it by showing up and participating in any speaking capacity at a meeting, then you begin to lose your confidence and speaking skills over time. And finally, a special Toastmaster. The meaning of Toastmasters to him. We are in the business of changing lives forever. Better communication is a vehicle for self-discovery. The great secret in Toastmasters is the delivery vehicle of the program, the club. Read the mission statement of the club. You will find the reason we have positively impacted the lives of more than four million people since the first club crea was created more than 86 years ago. His greatest experience as Toastmaster? seeing firsthand how the Toastmasters program is impacting the lives of people around the world. I visited districts in the USA as well as Canada, Mexico, Sri Lanka, and India. It gave me an incredibly uplifting feeling to see the passion that members have for what we do and that Toastmasters is meeting a fundamental human need around the world for people to discover their potential, develop it, and serve their fellow man. My experience validated the theme that year, find your voice, serve your world. And his greatest thrill as a club member, seeing how a new member begins their Toastmasters experience <coughs> as a nervous speaker, and within a few months blossoms into a confident, capable speaker. This leads to a positive effect all around in their life, personally and professionally. That thrill never leaves me. It is an affirmation of the reason why our organization continues to grow around the world while so many service organizations have been losing membership. As founder Dr. Ralph Smedley said, Toastmasters is one of the few organizations in the world that exists to serve the individual member. And that's Dr. Dilip Abakasayar, former president, Toastmasters International, 2005 to 2006. Mr. Toastmaster.